Right, first step, on these um, mandrels, there's a taper from a, the wide section to the narrow section. The same mandrel as is holding this cut-off disc. So the first step is going to be to get rid of that taper, make it into a shoulder. I've got my tail stock with my, so I can rest my arm along it and get a nice uh, control over the cut-off disc as I do this. So lay it on. You're working quite close to the uh, collet shop, so be a bit careful there. That's okay. Switch it off. And then probably come in now with a file. Yeah, that's nice. Hold on. Little jeweler's file. That'll get me in there, yeah. Now I'm using my tool rest as a an arm rest to give my arm support. Uh, I don't know whether to, yeah. While we're at this, we might as well start. We've got to reduce this wide section down to 3.75, and I think it's 4, so it's 0.25. That's quite a lot to take off, 2 tenths, 2.5 tenths. So, we'll take a little time, don't worry though, you're not in a rush. And then when that's down, I'll come back. Okay, I did bring out a, an 8 inch file, um, medium cut, to file that down. Now, so it's coming 3.2, standard Dremel shank, then it's going out to 4, and I've left the fat, at first millimetre, I've left that 4, because I want a hard shoulder for this to butt up against, and the rest of it now is reduced down so that it just slips inside there and you can see I've got to take off four and a half millimeters there so that it goes all the way up to that shoulder that I've just left back here okay so uh, I'm going to use the Dremel cut off again and cut off four and a half millimeters and I'll do that in a minute Right, I'm not going to do this with the with the lathe running. I'm going to do it with the lathe off. Good, the hole goes back further than we need, so we still. Yeah, that was hot. Still got a guide hole. Keep going. Before I go all the way, I'm going to put something to catch the little hot piece of metal underneath there. Piece of wood will do. It might fly off, so I've got to keep my eye on it because I've got a lot of sawdust around here. Kept it on. It's going to be hot, so really you want to use pliers. Just file the ends nice and clean. 
get rid of any burrs. Chamfer the edge a little. If you need to get a magnifying glass or whatever to, to look at that, do. Then get your pencil again. There we go, we come right up to that shoulder that I left. So that's nice. Now we'll super glue that in, in there. So leave it rough where the cutting wheel left rings around it. Leave it like that. Now the next thing I need to do is reverse this into another collet to bring the other side of the shank down to three. Okay, be with a minute. Okay, the next stage operation, sorry, is to drill this right up to the end of that wide part which is about 10 mil I've marked the drill and I'm going to start this with the drill in the hole because this is only a 1.2 millimeter drill Dremel nicely where they got the threaded section it goes in I'm only about two mil short so I'm only looking to drill about two mil I'm going to go in an extra millimetre, it won't hurt. There we go. Now we've got a nice hole for the lead to get as much lead as possible as we can in there. Okay, now I haven't got a collet to hold that so I'm going to have to put it in the Jacob's chuck. So I'll set that up and come back. <laughs> 